Hello nurses, this is Kevin with Nursing Camp and these are my nurses notes. Today I'm going to talk to you about potassium from my blood book, The Labs You Should Know. First, here are some facts. Potassium is a major intracellular cation in the body and it's responsible for contraction, nerve transmission, and muscle reactions and is naturally regulated by the kidneys and hormones. But an important concept to realize is that Though it lives in the cells, what we are truly measuring is the amount of potassium in the plasma, or what I like to call the pot. And this is not inside the cell, so these little changes in plasma concentration is acute, whether up or down. So when do we monitor potassium? Well, it's in the BMP and we usually monitor daily on inpatients, or to further evaluate TPN, dialysis, or is the patient receiving diuretics? or to further explore the cause of the patient's symptoms that may be related to potassium. Since potassium is in three main areas of the body, this is where our patients can have symptomatic problems, like the gut, the butt, and the pot for potassium. So basically, if the kidneys are working fine, potassium should be normal. But if it's abnormal, as in renal disease, we'll see a rise in their potassium. So first, let's cover hypokalemia and the three P's of the pot, puking, pooping, peeing. All of these areas can result in a low potassium. So what does the patient look like? Patients with a low potassium have symptoms that I like to call low is slow, or slow-like symptoms. PR long, ileus, muscle weakness, respiratory, bradycardia, and respiratory alkalosis. So what do we do? First, we treat the underlying cause and replace the potassium. And never give greater than 10 milliequivalents an hour peripherally, or 20 milliequivalents an hour through a central line. But always follow your doctor's orders. Okay, let's talk about high potassium. Since if the pot is too full, like in renal disease, and there's no urine output, potassium cannot get out of the pot, causing potassium to rise. When the potassium is too high, that is a problem, and the patient should be on a monitor. So what does the patient look like? Just like what creates low potassium, the causes, like vomiting, diarrhea, and nausea, the body reacts to high potassium the same way as it can cause low potassium to get rid of it. Second, what does a nurse do? We put them on a monitor and we monitor for dysrhythmias, especially for peak T waves and possible VTAC. And we might even give them medications to lower the potassium, like calling in the king to get the potassium down, like kaexalate, insulin, glucose. But why are they high? A couple of reasons to question, are they a kidney patient? Kidneys, the BUN and creatinine is elevated, GFR is less than 60, or less than 15, they are probably on dialysis. Also, if they're high, are they on these meds? Heparin, ACE inhibitors, NSAIDs, and we always watch for the primpigazole. These are the antibiotics that cause a high potassium. Well, that about wraps it up. Thank you for watching. I am Camp from Nursing Camp and the Nurse's Notes. And remember to be that nurse, not that nurse. Nurse on, we'll see you next time.